Hello, this is Betsy and Ren with Living in Panama, and today we are talking with Leif Simon about the cost of living in Panama. Hi, Leif. It's Betsy. And my husband, Ren. Hey. How are you doing? Hi, Ren. I'm good. How are you? Leif is not only an authority on Panama, having lived in Panama City with his wife, Catherine Petticord, and their two children for the last several years, but he is an international real estate expert. Welcome, Leif, to Living in Panama with Betsy and Ren. Thank you, guys. I'm happy to be here. I think one of the reasons people often think about moving to Panama is because they hear that it's got a really low cost of living. So people couldn't afford the lifestyle they'd like to become accustomed to in the United States or Canada or other places are starting to think about Panama. What is your thoughts about the cost of living in Panama? What generally do you think you could live on and what kind of lifestyle would that give you? And is it true that it's more affordable? Yeah, yeah the 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 cost of living conversations that we have uh, with people are the, the, the very the gambit. So you can live off your social security in Panama. What does that buy you? It can buy you a beach lifestyle, like what you guys have in Puerto Armoyas, where you could live off of maybe $1,000, 1200 a month. That's not going to be luxurious, but where, where in the U.S. are you going to uh, live at the beach on $1,200 a month? So, you know, people... Uh, you know, people come from Iowa say, "Oh goodness, that it, you know, Panama City is so expensive." Well, of course it is. If you're coming from Des Moines, it's going to be more expensive. If you're coming from the West Coast or the East Coast, in any or any major city uh, in between, Panama City is going to be uh, likely less expensive. And you can live inexpensively in Panama City. We know a guy. It's been a couple of years since I've spoken with him, but he was living here on his Social Security, and it was less than a thousand dollars a month. Wow. Biggest portion, biggest portion went to his rent. He was renting a house in a decent neighborhood, not one of the high end neighborhoods, but you know, a decent local uh, safe neighborhood for six hundred fifty dollars a month, and the rest of it to uh, you know food. He didn't run. He didn't run his air conditioner twenty four hours a day, uh, and he didn't have a car. But he was happy. He walked and went around by taxi and bus, and he was living on less than a thousand dollars in the city. Um, on the other hand, you can spend as much as five thousand dollars a month in a high rise apartment um, overlooking the ocean. So you know, your budget can go to the extreme the other way in the city as well. But overall, I think most places, if you're in that 1500 to $2,000 a month budget range, you can, you can have a great lifestyle in lots of areas in the country. Yeah. It sounds like if you, if you bought property, right, you had your own house, then if you had the capital to do that, then you'd have even a lot more money to be living. Yeah. At- Absolutely, and that's when we talk about budgets, we try and separate housing because housing can be whatever you want it to be. Um, it could be a, you know, a one-bedroom, small little apartment, or it could be a five-bedroom, $2 million house. You, you take that part out of it, and then you, you're looking at uh, the cost of food, for example. And food costs in Panama are going to be less unless you're buying the processed foods that they ship in from the U.S., in which case they're going to be the same or more. So it, you have to make a bit of a shift in your expectations uh, if you want to save a lot of money. But you can have all of the comforts at home in Panama as well. For more on the cost of living in Panama, please click the link below. Thanks for watching.